This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Armenia. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Today, we're talking about a country that's at the meeting point of Europe and Asia. We're talking about Armenia, the country with the largest diaspora dispersed all over the world. With a history of over 3,000 years, Armenia is one of the first countries to have been officially Christian, and they're very proud about that. All three million citizens. Although they've been under Persian and Ottoman rule for most of their existence, they always fought and put up with everyone for their identity and beliefs. Today, Armenia is a different country. Although it's located in a relatively dangerous region, they're embracing and promoting a culture full of achievements and influences. The motherland of the Kardashians, Cher and System of a Down, is one of the most welcoming and family-oriented nations. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. It's amazing how a small country like Armenia influenced so many modern things. So, let's see what other things there is to know about this great country. Number 1. Armenia is part of the Silk Road If you don't know what the Silk Road is, well, let's clear the waters a little. The Silk Road was an ancient network of trade routes, both terrestrial and maritime, that connected East Asia with Southern Europe. The network is now included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Some of the roads are still intact and will take you through the most epic landscapes of Asia, the Middle East and Europe. Armenia is also part of the Silk Road, with the Salim Pass, now called Orbelian's Pass, which takes you on a scenic drive for almost 2.5 kilometers. And since gas is cheap here, it's a great opportunity. Number 2. It's a place where Noah's Ark was said to have landed during the flood. Besides being the first Christian country, and on top of that with barely no other ethnic groups, Armenia carries a great deal of biblical symbolism. Being so close to the Holy Land, it has a major influence on their culture. Mount Ararat is sacred to Armenians because they believe that Noah's Ark landed there during the flood. Nowadays, the peak of the mountain belongs to Turkey since 1921, but it can be seen from Yerevan, the capital city of Armenia, because it's over 5,000 meters above sea level. Number 3. The Most Expensive Armenian Brandy Sold for $120,000 Armenian food is not necessarily something to die for, but the alcohol is another story. They're famous for their brandy distilleries because the climate and soil allows them to grow all sorts of fruits and wheat. The most famous brandy of Armenian origin is called Armenian Ararat Brandy, and it was sold at Sotheby's Auction House in London for over $120,000. It was a 70-year-old brandy and Churchill's, Putin's, and Stalin's favorite. Fun fact, Armenian brandy is famous for being served at historic meetings and dinners, such as the Yalta Conference. Number 4. They have their own alphabet and language. Most nations use the Latin alphabet, the Cyrillic alphabet, the Greek or the Asian variations. Armenians, though, have their own alphabet, invented around 405 AD. It has 38 letters, and some say it might have been inspired by the Greek alphabet. Nowadays, their alphabet is still recognized and integrated with modern writing tools and programs. You can even change your keyboard to it. Some consider the Armenian alphabet one of the three most advanced in the world, along with the Georgian and Korean alphabets. Number 5. The richest Armenian is Sergei Galitsky, with a net worth of $3.1 billion. Some smart people in Armenia took advantage of their country's location, and they used it to make some business. This is the case for Sergei Galitsky, who's now the richest Armenian with a net worth of $3.1 billion. He's even richer than the entire Kardashian family, with a net worth that reaches barely $2 billion, and that includes the Jenner members and Caitlyn. 
He was smart and started out with perfumes and beauty supplies in 1994 and then founded Magnet, one of Russia's biggest supermarket chains and cosmetic retailers, with more than 15,000 stores. He now lives in Russia, where he takes care of business and a soccer team. Number 6. They have a ceasefire agreement with Azerbaijan Over the years, Armenia fought with their neighbor, Azerbaijan. They're still not on good terms because Armenia made territorial claims against Azerbaijan, and that led to the self-proclamation of the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Today, it's been over 25 years since they agreed on the ceasefire and peace negotiations, but Armenia broke it recently over 30 times. It's still not safe to wander in that area, and definitely not safe to talk about it because it's just as sensitive as the genocide. Number 7. A former Armenian police chief bought a $3 million house for $200,000 only. When you know the right people, business can be done very easily. If you also have influence and power, you can buy million-dollar things for a couple of thousand only. And this is the case for the former police chief from Armenia. His name is Vladimir Gasparian, and the trick he pulled is quite common. He had his mother-in-law buy the house with a loan she couldn't pay for, and then when the bank seized the house, another relative of his bought it from the auction for only $200,000, and then he gifted the house to Gasparian's son. Now everyone's wondering who bribed who and who is to blame. Number 8. The Armenian Genocide is Still Not Acknowledged by Turkey one of the most sensitive subjects in Armenia is the genocide that led to their massive immigration decades ago. From 1915 until 1923, the Ottoman Empire killed over 1.5 million Armenians. They started out by forcing men into labor and war, and the deportation of women and children that died due to poor and harsh conditions. This happened before the massive genocide of the Jews and is considered the first holocaust. To this day, Armenians still mourn and Turkey still hasn't acknowledged its guilt, even though over 29 other countries have done so. Number 9. They Learn and Play Chess in School Most people don't know too much about Armenia or what they're good at. Since you're here, we're going to tell you that Armenians have won some Olympic medals because they're really good at wrestling, judo, boxing, and chess. Yes, chess is a sport and it has been popular here since the Middle Ages. They teach children chess in school, and because of that, they have some of the best chess players in the world. They've won several championships and Olympics with both men and women. You'll see people playing chess everywhere in Armenia. Number 10. Rich Armenians Invest Their Money in Churches Some people invest or donate their money to research and charity. The rich people of Armenia choose to give their money towards faith. They prefer building churches. In less than 20 years, over 250 churches have been built or rehabilitated in Armenia. It was all possible due to the help of Gagik Sarukian, or Hovik Abrahamian. They have invested over $50 million, along with other key investors of Armenian descent, and the Armenian government. The only problem is the unemployment rate is at 21%, so people need jobs, not more faith. Number 11. Yerevan, the Pink City, is older than Rome. Did we mention that Armenia is an ancient country? Probably. This one emphasizes even more this fact. Before the Romans built their empire, Armenia had already built the capital of Yerevan with volcanic pink stones. Yes, Yerevan was built almost 30 years before Rome. Even though circumstances haven't been on their side very much, the city is a beautiful architectural masterpiece with lots of churches, special monuments, and a view over the tall and sacred Ararat Mountain. Number 12. Armenian Women Were Voted the Most Beautiful in the World Long are the days when only Brazilian women and Americans top the list of the most beautiful women in the world. 
As we're confronted with more diversity, it seems to be the standard that beauty has changed as well. Men seem to like Persian women more and more, that they even voted Armenian women as the most beautiful. The Kardashians might have something to do with that, of course. But we can't argue with their dark hair, dark eyes, and olive skin tone. It's a wonderful combination indeed. Number 13. Almost 8 million Armenians live abroad. The fear of the genocide led to one of the biggest migrations of the early 1900s. Armenians were so afraid for their lives and their futures, they established communities everywhere in the world and never came back. Today, around 300 million Armenians live in Armenia and over 8 million outside of it. They can be found in America, Russia, France, or Iran. It's one of the biggest diasporas in the world, so don't be surprised if you find large communities scattered around the globe. Number 14. Pinot Noir wine is related to Armenian grapes. French wines, Moldovian wines, or Portuguese wines are well-known and loved varieties, but there's always more than meets the eye, and a surprise is always welcomed. A very good wine is also the Armenian wine, again because they have a warm climate and rich soil, but there's more to it than that. Armenia is home to the oldest winery in the world. It appears that 6,000 years ago, Armenians were making wine from the grapes that now make the famous Pinot Noir. The Areni village, where the winery is from, holds a wine festival each October. Number 15. Their bread, lavash, can last a year without going bad. Armenian cuisine is a tasty blend between Mediterranean food and some Middle Eastern fusions. They like to focus on the flavors and herbs rather than spiciness. If you ever go to Armenia, you have to taste their bread, lavash. It's now included in the list of intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Lavash is a soft and thin flatbread baked in a clay oven. Hard versions of this bread can last up to a year, as some say, if stored properly. Armenia is indeed a hidden gem and one of the most underrated destinations. Why focus all of your energy on visiting New York and Paris and blending in with the crowds when you can experience a different culture and such an important part of history? And Aluxers, because there are so many Armenians living outside of the country, we're curious to know how many Armenians are watching our videos. Let us know in the comments if you're one of them. We would love to know. Are you still with us, Aluxers? Of course, we didn't forget about the bonus fact, don't worry. Here's a tip for you if you plan on going to Armenia. Number 16. Cash is king in Armenia. We all know the saying, but it's 2018 already and credit cards are king now. Well, not in Armenia. Over here, it's better to bring cash with you because ATMs are a rarity and almost no stores, restaurants, or hotels will accept Visa or MasterCard. In some cases, you won't be able to book hotels with a credit card, so don't get your expectations too high. On the other hand, there is free Wi-Fi almost everywhere. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.